y'all. Look, before we get started, let me, y'all look a mess. It's the weekend. Let me show y'all this dress I got before we get started. Hold on. I wear this dress at my aunt's 70th birthday party. Now, I don't know what the dress code is. Mama be fine. Look at this dress, y'all. Ain't this cute? And now this kind of hangs off the shoulder. It has like a velvet. I got to back up. I'm short, so this almost goes down to my ankle. It has a cute little wrap around y'all want me to try it on for you I, okay thank you for asking i'm gonna go ahead and try it <laughs> girl look at this dress now look at this dress girl now i got about 10 more pounds i was trying to lose but we ain't gonna be able to do it i ain't, I ain't got no booty i got a long booty long booty i ain't no booty girl look at that look at it look at the waist i'm sucking it in and these are the shoes i'm gonna wear with i need to dust them off guess how much it costs girl nine dollars this whole cost not sorry this dress cost 9.99 oh it, $9 baby it comes in black purple uh what is this maroon um um green like a i'm gonna get that too girl i'm gonna get all the colors so anyway you guys we're gonna jump right into it this is another chit chat you know how i do this i talk about what's going on in my personal life what i'm watching on youtube and what i'm watching on tv let me put on some lipstick y'all because my lips looking looking basic as hell let me yeah we good we good so all right you guys i'm going to be pre pointing my hair while talking to you guys all right, you guys, so what's going on in my personal life? So um, this is my husband's last week home before he heads to Kansas, y'all. And I was speaking to my uh, son's teacher's husband, who's originally from Oklahoma, and he's stating that, I said, you know, depending on the weather, we're going to go drive down there. And he's like, oh, you guys may want to be careful because... They're predicting that it's going to be a harsh winter. My husband and I had that discussion and we kind of think that too, because since the the summer was so bad that meaning it was a harsh summer, very, very hot. We're thinking that the winter is going to be rough. It's going to be a rough winter. So probably you won't be able to go up there, but it's still, you know, it's still an option. So we'll, we will see. I'm going to turn around and talk to you guys. I'm a very involved parent. I've always been that way. And I always say, I mean, to the point to where some other parents think that I'm an actual, I'm a, a teacher sometimes. I'm involved. I know the kids' names. I know their parents. I don't know the parents' name, but I know the parents' faces. You see what I'm saying? Um... I want the teachers, the other teachers, even if the other teachers are, you know, not even teaching my child. I want them to know who I am. Um, and yeah, I, I just try to have that type of, girl, what the hell is this? Oh my God, y'all. This Bobby pin has probably been up there since 1995. That's a re I didn't even know that was up there. But anyway, so what's the point, girl? So very, very busy last week at his school. And it's going to be like that. It's going to be this way until the winter break. And their winter break is crazy. The winter break is literally almost, no, it's 20 days. They're out for 20 days. And that's when we were going to think about going up to Kansas. But we'll see. So, yeah, we're about to be really busy with um, things at school, which is fine. And already thinking about the holidays, I invited my mom my parents up for the holidays for thanksgiving to spend with us and my mom was like you don't really have to cook i'm gonna cook um but they really don't eat like that anymore you guys so i don't even necessarily have to cook you know traditional thanksgiving but i will be having dressing i will be having dressing and some greens with some pork in it because he will be having greens with pork I will be having hot water cornbread. JV loves hot water cornbread too. I will be having my mama made. This, let me tell you something. My mama made this pineapple coconut cake with pecans or something. She gonna make that. She don't know it, but she gonna she she's gonna make that for me. Um, yeah, that that's what's gonna happen. I'm, I'm I want one of those cakes. Definitely want one of those. So we'll probably just do like a little spread. Um. And yeah, let me know what y'all plan for the holidays. Are y'all planning on staying? Do you plan on staying home? Do you plan on traveling somewhere? 
what do you plan on doing so girl that's that youtube you guys i've actually been looking at a lot more youtube i've been looking at this i like me and my true crime fanatic i love me some true crime you guys i listen to it at least i'm gonna be bold enough to say at least five to six hours a day i'm listening to true crime i'm listening to it while i'm um, you know um cleaning up i'm listening to it while i'm working i because i like it so on youtube i've been watching i've watched almost all of them um it's a series but it's on youtube a couple of episodes called fatal vows and of course it's about a married couple and um one of them ends up dead either the wife or the husband and just the things that these married couples do that they do or end up doing is absolutely crazy to me so watching that i was watching um oh my god you guys i watched and i'm so behind i watched a interview with 90s models let me tell you something nobody and i'm telling you nobody beats nothing beats the 90s era of the supermodel so i was watching a interview on youtube and i think that british vogue did the interview and they did an amazing job in which each model had to read a question uh aims at another model and i know that linda and i forget her last name you guys and all these models was in that george michael video Y'all remember that video was done in black and white and he had them. They were bad, okay. And so I know that Linda and Naomi were really close for a very long time. And so um, Linda had had some, her body was basically ruined when she had that cool sculpt, sculpting done. And I think she's had it corrected since then. And so I felt so, so bad for her because she was doing the interview, um, of course, but her neck was covered. She had on a beautiful scarf. She's still a very beautiful woman. And they're all, they are all very stunning. But it was very interesting to see them all working together again because they did Vogue again all together. So let's continue. So yeah, y'all, I was watching that, watching Fatal Ball. So look, not necessarily on, not necessarily on YouTube, but I was on TikTok looking at something because oftentimes I'll be looking at a video on Facebook and the person's name will come up through TikTok and I'll be like, okay, let me look them up on TikTok. So I'll look them up and look i am not with it i had no idea i should have never discovered this i had no idea that there were like shopping videos through tiktok because i'm not on tiktok you guys i get on there real quick sometimes to see a video that's like an, an entire area that i'm not familiar with and so i'm looking at these videos they're showing um all of these different clothes and i'm like this is stuff is cheap i'm like girl you better not you better not do this you better not i'm not doing it y'all so i was like well let me get out of this but on the same token i was looking at somebody some woman was basically some young girl was basically saying um she uses this it came up her video came up after the one video i went to start to look at and so i'm all about fragrances and me i typically unless i'm going out i like to use body spray so i have this peach and daisy i have these body ecology um i get just from walmart coconut hibiscus i like to wear these and i get compliments on them because it's very light and then when i'm out when i go out to eat you know do something i wear my coco chanel or my burberry and stuff like that but this one girl was saying how um she does bottle service in dallas and she likes to stay fresh and stay smelling good so she layers her fragrances so girl i wrote it down she used something called eco i guess echo um lavender right and then she layer it with a body oil with a vanilla body oil and she gets so many compliments on the fragrance i heard that look body oils have been very popular since the 70s i'm too afraid to try it but i hear people talk about it that it's, it's really good now another girl said that she layers her um fragrance with the caress vanilla body scrub 
And then she uses that Echo Lavender Lotion. I'm like, let me tell you something. I added all that stuff. They were seeing how you can find it at Target, but I found it in my little Kroger's. I added all that stuff to my buggy as soon as I, I like to smell good, but I don't like to wear perf perfume every day. I'll put on body, you know, body sprays. Um, but perfume, I don't want to waste my $100 perfume for a parent teacher conference. Sorry, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, I know I'm talking a lot. Um, what I'm watching, first of all, Netflix uh, raised the prices. I, I <laughs> gone are the days of nine ninety nine. I don't think I paid ninety nine nine ninety nine in a couple of years actually. So now it's a little over. Is it twelve dollars? I don't know, but I got the notification. I got a notification, and it's going up. And I'm like, I know one of you told me that you're paying dang on near almost twenty dollars. You must got one of those packages. I uh uh. Paying for sling. Um, but there's some other stuff that I'm watching with the basic, you know, package like Paramount. Um, we did have Peacock, but don't really have that anymore. But Paramount, we do have. And we watch it. Y'all see that? I feel like my hair is getting lighter. Does that look? Ignore me. So, um, so y'all, okay. So, I tried to go back on Hulu and continue Yellow Jackets. It's gone. I don't know if I change my package. I'm not open. I'm I'm not adding another package or I'm not upping upping it again or upgrading. I'm not gonna do that. But my yellow jackets are gone and I'm like, oh that's just sad. So <laughs> so I'm not gonna do anything to upgrade it. I just won't watch it. I am look, I'm the type of person I really don't be that invested. There are certain shows where I have been that invested. I'm like, yo, we gotta get it. Walking Dead was one of them. But even with that one, look, I stopped watching The Walking Dead when, first of all, I was upset when Rick left. And by, they, you know, they got all of these spinoffs. They got Daryl. He's somewhere going towards France or some shit. Daryl, how the hell you get all the way to France? Daryl is in France. Oh, not, not happening. Not happening at all. Um, So on Hulu... There were a couple of things that I had added to my list and I stopped watching it, watching it for whatever reason. So there's this one movie called The Intruder that has Megan Good, Michael Ely, and it has, I believe his name is, I think it's Dennis Quaid. And I, I think it's Dennis Quaid. I just don't recognize him because he's a little bit older. But he still kept his body together because he he's still is pretty fit. But Dennis Quaid. And so, Megan Good and Michael Ely have purchased this house out in the country. You already know it's going to be bad. You, you already know it. I stopped watching AH, AHS, American Horror Stories, <sighs> because... Um, I'm going to be honest, because Kim Kim Kardashian is on it, and I really don't want to see her. When I saw, I, I mean, I stayed, I tried to stay with it for the good two to three episodes, but when I saw that she was going to be on it for sure, she definitely has more than just, she, basically, it's a leading role. It's a leading role, and, and she can't act. I don't know what the hell Ryan Murphy and them were thinking about, but... She can't act, but she's she has a pivotal role on the series. And so I'm just not going to watch this. And I, I really don't know what it's about. Is it about spiders? Is it about cloning? I don't know. And I don't care because I'm not going to continue it. But what I did watch that just came out not too long ago, and I'm just not sure how I feel about it right now, American Horror Stories. And it's a little bit predictable is i mean the first one was predictable um the third one and y'all the third one has what is her name linda renna renna from from the housewives not the house yeah housewife series linda renna or renna she has had her lips blown up so freaking much but i love her on the series nonetheless i love her on the series um all right you guys sarah vaunt 
is still serving. And it's so funny. So the actor that plays Ron from the Harry Potter series, he's on there. And so JB's so funny. He kind of saw, because the, the, the actor has a, a very definite look. First of all, you're redhead. You know, you're a ginger and you're from the Harry Potter series, which is very well known. Um, and so it's so funny. I was watching the series, meaning Sarah Bond, and JB was like, are you watching Harry Potter? I'm like, no, baby. But that is Ron. He still looks the same, you guys. He still looks like he's 13, 14 years old, which is why I'm um, doing the first few episodes and he was like cursing and drinking. I said, what the hell? Why is Ron, why is Ron cursing and drinking? And where the hell is Hermione to correct this? Hermione is a car character from Harry Potter. Yeah, I'm a Potterhead. So anyway, that series is getting a little weird, but I st I'm going to hang with it. I'm going to hang with it because I'm still enjoying it. I know I really am. I st I'm still enjoying it. So I'm going to hang with it. Um, again, it's called Sarah Vaught. Now, there's another, there's a couple of interesting series and movies on Amazon Prime. There is one, did I write down the name? I was trying to write down the name. I had there to look up the movie, uh, series, series I was thinking about. And y'all, I've been seeing Amazon, um, it's Apple TV. Girl, Apple TV that has Sarah Bunt's. Is that how you pronounce it? Saravant, girl. Saravant and some of these other ones. The Changeling, which I do not recommend. Trash. I don't recommend it at all. There is one that is based off of a Stephen King, which is called Lizzie's, Lizzie's Story. A Lizzie's Story that has Clive Owen and Juliet Moore. Um, it's very interesting to see them together because they actually start in Children of Men, which is one of my favorite movies back in the day. And so it's, it was very interesting to see that they're on another project together. Um, I love me some Clive Owen. Look, Clive Owen. Yeah, he's he's four years younger than my daddy. But that's it mostly, you guys. I'm not really interested in watching like a lot of series at the same time because I, I get easily distracted. Girl, ADD. I, I do. I get very easily distracted. By the way, some things that are coming up that I am excited about, Shining Veil. If you have not seen the first season of Sh Shining Veil, look into it. It has Courtney Cox. Is that Courtney Cox? Look into it. Y'all, and speaking of that, I didn't mean to like disregard this, but Chandler, the actor that played Chandler from Friends, apparently passed away from an accidental drowning now. I'm going to be the first to tell you, I didn't know anything about his personal life. It, regardless, it's sad. It, it really is. Um, but then you have all of the conspiracy theories come, coming out saying, you know, why are there so many people dying at home and are so many celebrities dying at home accidentally or dying at home from drowning? That is not what it is. Um, and it was something I had actually asked my husband uh, way back when, Oh, when Bobby Christina passed away from the same type of uh, circumstances that her mother did, Whitney. And so my husband was saying, well, he, what he speculates, and those of you don't know, my husband works in the medical field. He's a, a lab rat. My husband speculates that um, these people are getting um, hot. And so they try to cool off by taking a cool bath and getting into the bath. But because they are either drunk or high, they fall asleep and then accidentally drown. And so that is actually the number one cause of accidental drowning in a bathtub is because they the person is either high or drunk. And so they accidentally drown. And this incident with this actor who was in his 50s, it was actually in a jacuzzi. So there's speculation that perhaps he had a, a stroke or a heart attack and that caused him to um, pass away. Regardless, it is, it is far too young um to be passing away so that's that's really 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 sad so you guys i don't know if you guys are aware but apparently there is a beetlejuice 2 in the woodworks and tim burton is doing it and by the way tim burton this makes a lot of sense now christina uh, christina uh, christ the italian actress very beautiful she plays in the matrix Christina Bellucci. Christina Bellucci is actually dating. <laughs> it's funny. Christina Bellucci is actually dating him. The guy that does all the way, you know, he did Edward Scissorhands, Tim Burton, Edward Scissorhands, um, Beetlejuice, um, 
Big Fish, one of my favorite little movies. And so not little movies. So they're dating. They're dating. And so anyway, she's actually in the in the movie too. She's starting as Beetlejuice's wife. And so I think that's really odd. But she she is. And I have a feeling that they probably started dating after filming the movie. So of course, some people are not alive anymore that were in their original movies, such as remember the um the, the designer, uh, he was like a little overweight, little sassy guy who actually found the book and was reading it. He passed away, you guys. Apparently, he had medical issues um, and had an accident at home. And so, he's not alive anymore. So, yeah, I'm rambling on. That is it for now. I'm going to continue to pre-poo my hair. And thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye.